This is a quick guide on how to read the data you would have received from Calibre, the skills assessment. So you will have received data at three levels, at the grade level, the class level, and the individual student level. Let's begin by looking at some grade level data. So this is some sample data for grade 10 students. What you see first is how the class is doing as a whole against their peer group in similar schools like yours around the world. This is giving you information on three big skills, critical thinking and problem solving, information literacy and research, and communication and academic writing. This colored bar here represents the median score that the class has achieved. And this is the benchmark or the median score that similar students in other schools like yours around the world are achieving. That data is then broken up to show you at a zoomed in level how students are doing on various sub skills within critical thinking and problem solving. So here you can see that students are strongest at synthesizing information and drawing conclusions. However, when it comes to these other three skills, they need more support. Similarly, that data is available for information literacy and research, as well as for communication and academic writing. If you want to dig even further, you will be able to see the distribution of performance of students on each subskill. So right here, we're looking at synthesizing information and drawing conclusions. You have here a description of the subskill, the top subjects where we recommend developing it, and what students who are strong at the skill can do. Right here, it shows you what percentage of students are below expectations, what percentage of students are approaching expectations, what percentage are meeting expectations, and similarly, what percentage are exceeding expectations data for 10 subskills. Similarly, this data is also available by every class. For example, if you have a 6ABC within grade 6, so you can see how different classes might be doing and use this to inform class teachers. And here it gives you two pieces of information, the grade median as well as the global median and how the class is doing against those two benchmarks. To zoom in further, the same information is available per student. So we're now looking at an individual student report. And this is great for goal setting for students as well as to share with students and parents to better understand their own skills profile. Note that whilst all of the school information gives you how your students are doing compared to other schools like yours worldwide, at the student level, they're only given information against their peers. So this student, for example, is performing at the same level as the median of her class, but a little bit lower for critical thinking and problem solving, as well as for communication and academic writing. And again, the student then has information on how they're doing on all of the different sub skills, as well as where those skills are relevant in their academic life. Finally, what you also have is an Excel file like this that enables you to see quick trends across your students. So across all of the different skills for all of the different students in one grade, it is showing you quick trends. So you can read this data vertically to see which skill needs the most focus or is a strength across the batch. For example, for this batch of students, audience context and purpose seems to have the most greens and yellows and is therefore a strength where on the other hand we look at analyzing and evaluating systems of problem solving which has the most reds and yellows and therefore is something that needs further focus or you can choose to read this horizontally to see for any student what is the ratio of reds to yellows to greens that you're seeing in this way you're able to see how your students are doing in skills from the grade level to the class level to the individual student level and use this information to inform teaching and learning at your school.